Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike here, coming at you with a flea market finds video. I went to the uh, Jake's Flea Market in Barlow, Pennsylvania yesterday and uh, made a couple of pickups and let me show you what I got. So, in a bundle purchase, I picked up this neat New York Yankees pennant. It is from 1996. So it's the 1996 World Champion Pennant of the World Champion 1996 New York Yankees. So um, I can't name them all, but I can name a few of them. That's Derek Jeter. It's like Mariano Rivera, Dave Cohn, Andy Pettit. That could be uh, Tino Martinez, I believe. Dow Strawberry. I don't know who that is. Uh, although it looks like Giraldi. I think that's the reliever. Uh, what was his name? I can't remember his name. Uh, it's Bernie Williams. Looks like a Prince Fielder, I think. Tim Raines, Paul O'Neill, and Wade Boggs. So this was part of a bundle. I picked up f four things at this one guy. So this was... Um, I pay for this. Five dollars. And then I picked up to go along with that. This little 1974, 1975 Tops um, postcards or giant signs. So if you guys follow my page, you know I've been sending this exact same sign out. Uh, and I think I have about five Houston Astros on it. It's currently, the one that I have signed is currently out in the mail right now. Hoping to get it back someday. So, uh, yeah, so this was five bucks. I picked up this nice one here, the San Francisco Giants. There's some damage there, but who cares? It goes through the mail and it gets damaged anyway. So, now that one, and I picked up the Chicago White Sox, 1974, I believe, um, cardboard sign. So, of course, I'll use these to get some autographs on, probably through the mail, and see what happens. So, that bundle purchase right there, the Yankee Championship uh, banner and those three uh, placards, came out to a total of uh, 20 bucks. And then I picked up this uh, Indiana Hoosiers license plate. I know uh, Bobby Knight signs through the mail, so... Uh, I'll probably send this out to Mr. Bobby Knight. This is brand new. It's got its original. I don't know if it's when it was made, but it's got its cellophane on it. So I'll rip that off, throw it to the mail, through the mail, and send it out to Mr. Bobby Knight. And then if, if Mr. Bobby Knight signs it, I'll probably send it off to uh, Mike Woodson, who's the head coach of the Hoosiers right now. So pay three bucks for this. Uh, then I found this guy was selling some stuff. Picked up these, made these uh, quick purchases. This is a Deckel Edge Mel Stoudemire card. Picked it up for a dollar. Picked up this um, Carlton Fist 3D card, Kellogg's 3D card for a dollar. What year is this? Hey, focus, man. 1983. The most important thing to do is you have to check these cards out for scratches and because uh, they chip very easily and they crack. So I checked every card out and they were all fine condition. Very young Mr. Carlton Fist for a dollar. Gary Carter for a dollar. It's Mike Schmidt, Michael Jack Schmidt for two dollars. Catfish Hunter, Jim Catfish Hunter. This one, is this one cracked? Get out of here. Oh, no, don't tell me this one's cracked. Yeah, you see, that's what you have to look out for, man. I did not notice that was cracked. Jeez. Oh, well. Only played two bucks for it, so what can you do? I didn't notice that crack in it. And then I picked up this uh, pretty cool 1972 Rangers card of Mr. Ted Williams. So he was the manager of the Texas Rangers there for a short time. 
And this will go nicely with my 1972 set. I did not have that card of Mr. Ted Williams. Paid two bucks for it. I found some 72 cards, and they were much higher than this one. Uh, I was going to purchase one. It was 12 bucks, but luckily I found this one for two. So pretty cool pickups, except for that cracked catfish that I wish I had noticed the crack in it. Oh, well. What can you do? Then I uh, picked up these. This whole stack right here was um, came out to 80 bucks. But sometimes you got to pay. You got to pay the price uh, before somebody else does. So we got Sonny Seabird here for a dollar. Got a checklist. I'm trying. I am 185 cards away from completing uh, my set <clears throat> minus these cards. So paid one buck for this one, four bucks for this checklist, four bucks for this checklist. Picked up this uh, Chris Canizaro card for four dollars. Uh, this uh, Julian Javier, five dollars. George Culliver, four dollars. Sam Sudden Sam McDowell for five bucks, and uh, Alan Gallagher for four bucks. Picked up this. Uh, so this is Alan Gallagher in action, and this is the regular base Alan Gallagher, five bucks. Uh, Bernie Allen, three bucks. Jim Boat Champ for uh, two bucks. Juan Marichal, four dollars. So you can see the card's not in mint condition by any means. It's got a little dent up there, but why not? Rounded, little roundedness there on the bottom, but I just want to complete my set. I don't care about the condition. So picked up this Pete Rose for five bucks. Got a Cookie Rojas for two bucks. A Hall of Famer Tony Oliva for four bucks. Hank Aaron in action for twelve American dollars. And I got this Vida Pinson for two. And a Willie Mays for 10 bucks. So this in total, this whole stack right here came out to 80 bucks. But like I said, I had a 185 to go to fill out, complete my 1972 set. So I have uh, about 100 and what, 160 something now to go, 170 something. I, don't, I didn't, I didn't count. See how much there were there. Oh, what else, what else? Oh, yes, I picked up a whole stack from this guy. That's why I love the flea market, man. So I go to the flea market, and this guy, uh, he's selling all these autograph cards. So I said, why are you selling? And he, uh, we struck up a nice, friendly conversation. He said, uh, you know, my wife, she's been nagging me. She wants me to get rid of some of this stuff. So I said, all right, that's cool. I wondered why he didn't send him sell him on the internet he said uh, he doesn't want to pay to get him authenticated I said alright you know good deal for me so I picked up this Paul Blair autograph card uh, one thing when you're picking up autographs man you gotta you gotta know a little bit about autographs I mean um, I didn't take out my phone and, and comp out each card I'm pretty familiar with autographs so I know that's how Paul Blair's signature looks so Paul Blair's passed away so I picked up this card picked up this card Cool Joe Negro. He passed away a long time ago. Picked up this uh, Bob St. Clair. I believe Mr. St. Clair has also passed away. Uh, Lou the Toe Grocer. He signed it the Toe. Lou Grocer. He's passed away. This guy's passed away. George McAfee. Frank Gatsky, he's passed away. Charlie Tripp, he just recently passed away. He's over 100 years old, I believe. Pretty cool, Charlie Trippy. And I didn't mean to pick up this Louis Tian. I already have Louis Tian. Somehow it got in my pile, but I'll take it. Mr. Louis Tian. Also got this uh, Mike McCormick, who I believe has passed away. There it is, Mike McCormick. Ace Parker, Clarence Ace Parker. And uh, also picked up this cool West Uncell. So the story behind this guy, um, he lived in the Washington, D.C. area. 
And he's been collecting since the eight, since the eighties. And he had, used to go to a lot of. Uh, he had pictures of almost all the autographs he obtained. He had pictures with the people that he uh, got the autographs from. So uh, he was from the Washington D.C. area. Now he's moved back to um, Reading, Pennsylvania, where he was born. And uh, he was an autograph hound. He would go to uh, banquets and uh, golf tournaments. Uh, signings in Virginia, Chantilly, Virginia, back when you can actually afford to get, you know, superstar autographs. So uh, he had a whole bunch of autographs. I should have taken more, but I said, I, I like these, I'll take these. So this is the great Wes Unsell, who has passed away, unfortunately. So I was happy to pick up an autograph. So picked up all these, all, all these, except for Louis Tion. Everybody has gone on to that great ball field in the sky. So... Was happy to pick those up. Also picked these up in the same purchase. This cool one right here. This is a index card sign. And I know what Phil Rizzuto's autograph looks like also. So he signed it. Holy cow, Phil Scooter Rizzuto. MVP, 1950, number 10, Hall of Fame, 94. So I love this one, man. This is a great one. Phil Rizzuto. Yankee legend, legendary broadcaster also. And then I picked up these two. These were cool. I always wanted this guy's autograph, but it was so much money when I go on eBay to check out his autograph, uh, pick up his autograph when I used to see his autograph on eBay. They're still there. They're expensive. Uh, these certified go for like 140 130 range. So so this is Mr. Tech Schramm. Tech Schramm was the GM of the 1960s, 70s, and 80s Dallas Cowboys. So he had two. He had three of them actually. I picked up two. So Mr. Tex Shram. So I will send all of these to Slab City to be authenticated and slabbed up by PSA eventually someday. Uh, probably during the next submission uh, period. So pick those up. And then I picked up. Uh, I was speaking to this one guy, and he was throwing away. He collected. Philadelphia uh, related memorabilia. He's from Philly. Well, he's from, uh, what was he from? I believe he's from Bar Bartow or Bartow up there in uh, Pennsylvania. But uh, he was a big Phillies fan, so he had a whole container filled with uh, old newspapers and magazines. And the whole container, he was selling it for 30 bucks. Now, I didn't want I'm I'm not a Philly fan, so. But he had some nice, interesting newspapers in there. But what am I going to do with all that stuff, you know? So um, I passed, and we had a good conversation. He asked me what team was my favorite team. I said the Mets. And uh, we had a good conversation, man, for about 20 minutes. That's why I love the flea market. You speak, stop, people are friendly. You speak to them, you have a good conversations with them. And then as I was about to leave, uh, he was telling me a story about his wife was ill. You know, he thought she had cancer. Turns out she only had, well, she has multiple sclerosis, which is better than a brain tumor, that they, a brain cancer, which they thought she had. But, uh, you know, I wished him well. I wished his wife well. We spoke, and we had a good conversation. Then when I was about to walk away, he remembered I was a Mets fan, so he just threw in this Life magazine of the great Jerry Kuzman, Mets in the Stretch. I believe this is from six. Yep, it's from 1969, September 26, 1969. It is an old copy of the Life magazine. It is crumbling. It is falling apart. Pages are loose. Here's a page of a couple of Mets celebrating. To say another sweet win for the Mets. So that was very nice of him. He just threw it in. He said, "I'm just trying to make room in, uh, in my house." My wife, she's ill now, and I'm trying to make things easier for her by selling and getting rid of. So I said, hey, I'll take it off your hands, man. Thanks. So he gave me this cool uh, Jerry Kuzman on the cover, Life magazine. So I think his name was Scott. So thanks, Scott. And last but not least, I picked this up from a gentleman that had a, a huge collection of stuff, man. But... Uh, I looked through everything, a lot of stuff he had, I already had, so I saw these Wheaties boxes. Um, he made it really irres irresistible for me to pick up. He only charged me one American buck. So this is a complete Wheaties box. It's got uh, Steve Young, Phil Sims, and uh, Dan Marino on the back. Pretty cool. 
the boxes are complete as you can see there he is Phil Sims Dan Marino Steve Young so all three of these guys they do shows they sign uh, Phil Sims used to sign through the mail he doesn't sign anymore so someday maybe if they do a show all three of them maybe I'll go out and get this autographed but uh, it's a nice piece I couldn't say no for a buck you know so hopefully someday I mean they're all expensive man they're in the hundred dollar range so it would be about at least 300 plus for all these guys to sign this so got picked up that one and I picked up this one the New England Patriots I'll never pay for Tom Brady he's too expensive he's like in the thousands but uh, you got Lawyer Malloy Antoine Smith Troy Brown Roman Pfeiffer so I'm pretty sure those guys aren't even over a hundred bucks for their autographs so pretty cool but maybe someday who knows I'll find a, a Tom Brady autograph I could uh, you know frame up with the rest of this box so that was it man that's it that's all I found at the flea market I did find I went to an antique store and I found a Richard Petty pennant and a cutout of Richard Petty total of seven bucks so the guy was uh the guy was restocking his uh, antique um, his antique little space and uh, he saw me looking at the Petty pennant and he said asked me if I was interested it's really really dirty so um, I said I was just taking a look and I put it back and he wanted ten dollars for it he said listen take it off my hands I'll sell it to you for five I said all right and then uh, he said I got something else and he had like this it's a cutout it's like a standee cutout it stands up and um, he said you can have this for two so made out with both of them for seven bucks so all in all that was it spend more money than I thought I was going to spend spend about close to 200 like $185 at the flea market I never spend that much but you know like I said if you see those autograph cards like that and you see them you better buy them before somebody else will so I was happy I picked them up so that is it for today guys that was my flea market finds video I didn't receive any autographs last week through the mail so I didn't make a mailbox goodness video so uh, hope you enjoyed this quick video if you did do me a favor hit that like button and i will catch up with you guys probably next sunday when i make a mailbox goodness hopefully goodness video so that's it everybody thank you for tuning in uh, appreciate you guys hit the like button subscribe and i'll catch you next time take care everybody god bless peace